Hi everybody, okay, um, last video from Florida, and uh, I'm in the bathroom. Unfortunately, you'll have to bear with me with the echo. I uh, didn't want to do my hair out at my dining room table and have my hair going all over the place. So, uh, today I'm going to do, uh, I was watching American Idol and saw Jennifer Lopez with this huge bun on top of her head, which I'm not calling a bun, I'm calling a bird's nest sitting on top of the head, uh, because that's what it looks like. So uh, I thought I would do the tutorial for it, since it's um, a popular look that's, um, well, that Hollywood is making fabulous. And um, the lighting is horrible in here. I can see the big old bags around my eyes, but this video is about the hair, not about me. Okay? All right, so uh, there's a couple things you're gonna need, and I found all of these things at Sally's, and they're all very inexpensive. Uh, first thing you're gonna need is your donut. Now, this is just a mesh donut, and they come in three different shades. This one is blonde, they come in brunette, and they also come in black. They cost $3 at Sally's. You're also gonna need some regular old bobby pins, and uh, I forgot to buy the hairpins. Those are the ones that are shaped like the U. Um, to have those would be a good idea too, to really control the stray ends that you know you want to get under control. So, okay, um, don't even need a brush for this. Okay, now if you uh, happen to see the video that's going to follow this, but come before this, uh, called I'm Not Jenny from the Block, Lipsticks, um, that one I really made it more of a quaff and sat it a little bit back further. This one's going to sit up a little bit higher because um, I have seen it this type of bun done sitting very high on the head and also sitting very um, slightly back on the head. And it's just a matter of where you place your um, ponytail. And also, um, ladies, because we are a little bit older and buns are in season, to wear your bun right here, mm, that's teetering on the edge of uh, nanny nanny or maybe even granny granny. So the bun should be high up on your head, just slightly back on the crown of your head, or sitting very low on your head. But to have it sitting right here and to have a puny little bun is not so good either. So that's why they make little extensions that you can incorporate. If you don't have this much hair to wrap around, then they do make a uh, little puff or little extensions you can just snap right in and help and wrap around. Just try to get them nearest to your hair color, okay? All right, so as you can see, um, I have just pulled my hair back in a ponytail and I placed it up a little bit higher on my head. Um, I didn't worry about whether it looked neat around here because I wanted this to be a messier look to the bun. Okay, so we are gonna get started. You need to take your, if you don't wanna buy one of these, you can take a big, thick, long tube sock. However, finding one the color of your hair might be a little tricky, ladies. But um, just cut the toes off and roll it so that it looks like a donut, okay? But these are only three bucks, all right? Um, all right, so what you're gonna do is you're just going to place your donut, pull your hair through, make sure your ponytail is really secured and tight. Okay, then you're just gonna take your hair and you are gonna spread it evenly around the donut, okay? So that you're covering all of the donut. I have a mirror in front of me here that I'm gonna be looking uh, through. Okay, so spread it as evenly as you can, and what you're going for is that your donut is covered, okay? Then you're just going to take your hair, and you're just gonna, you know, start to wrap it. Now, you're not gonna really, you don't wanna go super tight with it. You just wanna wrap it around and pick up hair as you're going along, okay? And then, just sort of wrap it around, and as you can see, it's already taking shape, okay? So we're going to wrap it around. I try to tuck my really blonde ends under because they look funny. Then you're going to just take your bobby pin and you're going to secure those ends in. And then you're going to go all the way around, trying not to look, not, try not to make indentations of where the um, bobby pins are. Just lightly secure them in. They go right through the mesh, so no problem. That's what you, the problem you're going to run into if you use socks. It's not going to go through the mesh. All right, let's take it and just put one right here. Okay. It's almost ready. Okay, so then I'm gonna secure that in. Now, if you had little hairpins, then you could, you know, secure things in um, that stick out where they're not supposed to. It looks crooked to you, but when I look in this mirror, it looks pretty darn good. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull on the ends to bring them out so it's not so quaffed looking. Um, you don't want to look like you have, you know, not talking in school, not talking in school, 
You don't want to have that kind of look. You want to have, I'm a sexy aging woman. Okay, so we're going to spray it. And ladies, this is one time where I would use a lot of hairspray because imagine me walking down the street thinking I'm all big and bad with my bird's nest sitting on my head. And I'm like, hmm, 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 just humming my way down the street and some big gust of wind comes along and there goes my bun. So spray it in place, ladies. Really spray it good. And before it dries, you want to go through and just rearrange your bun. Pull hairs where you think you'd like them to be. Um, and just really even it out so that it's, you know, you're not lopsided. Oh, and ladies, we don't want a cone head sitting on top of our heads, okay? No cone heads, okay? So pretty much that is all there is to it. Like right here, this piece right here is sticking up. If I had one of my little hairpins, I could really put it where I want it, okay? So that is all there is to it. Uh, the most important thing is, is to spray that baby into place. Okay, when we are wearing buns like this lady, we don't want to wear little studs unless, now if you have a very high neck, tight uh, turtleneck on that's very close to the neck and comes up very high, um, I would still wear dangle earrings myself, but you can get away, like if you have some monster rocks that you want to put in your ears, that would be a very elegant look to this without looking like, old. I just pushed it the wrong way. Without looking old. Or, um, you know, you can wear this look with sundresses. Uh, you can do that bohemian style. And um, there are just, a, this is acceptable. You could wear jeans with this with nice high-heeled sandals and just a really nice halter top if you're into that thing. I mean, not so much. Um, but yeah, it's really not that hard um, a thing to do. And you know, they do say that um, if you pull your hair up, you immediately take years off your face. Well, is it working? Am I looking younger, ladies? <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about this? I think that's about it. Oh, you know what I was wondering though? I often wonder, I was thinking about this yesterday when I was watching the video, uh, I'm not Jenny from the block before I published it. I thought, you know, I wonder if a mama bird and her babies will come and plant themselves in my bird's nest. Hmm. It could happen, especially since my hair is the color of twigs. Hmm. Well, let's hope it doesn't. Okay, so that's it easy. If that's how easy this is, ladies, it is really a great look for all of us, uh, young, old, um, and again, if you don't have really long hair and you really want to try this out, oh, and another thing, I had somebody uh, comment me yesterday and said, oh, this is a great look, unfortunately, I have bangs. N not unfortunate, because bangs would look lovely with this, as long as, you know, your bangs, I mean, leave some fringe down with it. I mean, you can pull little pieces out if you like that. You can even, you know, give them a little curl if, if you, you know, need to have something framing your face. Um, so don't count yourself out if you have bangs because this would work too. And um, yeah, so that is all you do. And you can make this look as messy as you want. Uh, you can bring it up higher if you'd like. However, I think this is really the maximum level we need to go at women. I mean, you know, I don't want to morph myself into lurch or anything like that. So um, yeah, I'm going with this. And like I said, um, last video in Florida, we're leaving tonight. I'm so excited to see Bindi. I can't wait to pick her up tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, I'm returning to 27 degrees. However, they say there's going to be a heat wave, 40 and rain on Monday. Yahoo! Um, and um, I've got a lot of things planned. I'm gonna do my review of the Opal. Uh, I'm going to um, do my review of concealers. Uh, I wanna do a review on sunscreens that I've used and my most recent purchase of a sunscreen with Kiehl's. Um, I've just got a lot of things planned and um, I'm excited about doing them. I did wanna make one little mention here and this again goes out with a heart full of love. I love all of my subscribers and I, really, 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 really love when comments are made. However, yesterday I mentioned another YouTube person in one of my videos, and I would much appreciate if when you come on my channel and I mention someone in my video that you don't take it as um, your stage to trash her. 
because um, I don't appreciate that, nor do I think it is nice. And if you watched my one video about um, my pet peeves, rudeness is one of them, and I consider that rudeness. So please, please do not use my comment page to trash someone that you do not care for on YouTube. It is not a kind thing to do, and I will block you. And um, I mean, I love, you've never done anything like this before, and it's only one person. So I'm hoping that you were just having a bad day, because we all do have them. But um, I welcome you, and I hope that you continue to make comments. But if you have someone that you don't like, please don't use my comment page um, to trash them. Uh, not appreciated by me. So back to uh, the hairdo. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please and thank uh, Please and thank you. That's at the end, Tammy. You don't say please and thank you first. Okay, uh, if you have any questions about this, um, feel free to comment me uh, and ask them. And um, yes, I think I'm looking rather chic. Have a great day. I'll see you back in New York where it's cold. Bye-bye.